um, today I want to talk about using uh, OpenStreetMap and other online maps in uh, QTVLM. And the reason we want to do this is because we're moving out now to a, a section of the course where we're going to do live GPS connections. And when you do this on your training, you're likely to be at home in various parts of the country or around the world. And so uh, we, we won't necessarily have water to navigate on. You'll be navigating uh, on land. And also, this came up just the other day in class where someone wanted to navigate on a lake. And this is also on a lake that presumably had no nautical charts. And that was uh, called Lake Lanier in uh, Georgia. Uh, and so you could, uh, there's various ways to maybe find that, but here is one, one way to just illustrate some features uh, uh, that we could do. Now this is OpenStreetMap. I'm going to go to OpenStreetMap, but this is just a browser. I, I'm actually on a Cognito one because I have an account with OpenStreetMap, and my interface would be confusing. So I have OpenStreetMap. I just type OSM, and now it finds OpenStreetMap. Let's see. Okay. And so now I want to type in here uh, Lake Lanier, L -A -N -I, Georgia, G-A, and say go. And uh, Lake Lanier Sailing Club, and here it is, right here. And so uh, this is that lake. And so what we could do then, and now here's a trick we might do. Let's just go here, right click here, and say show address. Now that brings up a latitude and longitude that we can copy. Command C. All right, now I'm going to go back to QTVLM. So I found the lake where I want. Uh, let's see, QTVLM. Okay, now what I want to do is just drop a mark here. I still am up in Washington, but I'm just going to put that up here. I'm going to call it Lake Lanier, and temp L A N I E R, and I'm going to command V. Just put the address there for the, I mean the location. So I'm going to copy this latitude. Command C. Go over here. Command V. Uh, no, wait a minute. I've got too, I copied too much here. Yeah, Command C, click this guy, Command V. Why isn't that doing it? Command V. I'm not pasting. What am I not doing right here? Uh, that is, I just maybe do it that way. Paste, is that safer? Uh, maybe that's safer. Okay, so I, I highlight this, right click, copy. Then I go over here, click this once, right click, paste. Now, okay, so that's that. So we're set up for that. Now I can just say center. Now all of us, okay, bang, Lake Lanier. So you see, that's how we got the QTVLM over here on this lake. And at this point, we can do a couple things. Well, we get off the vector charts, we're on land now, and turn on the online charts. And now this will take a while, uh, take a while to load, but once it's loaded, it'll be cached, and you're able to uh, do it more quickly. Or you can drive even, you know, once you have it cached, you can actually get in your kayak or something, or a sailboat, and go uh, uh, sail in this lake here. So um, that's a way to do that. Now, let me back up here for a minute. QTVLM preferences. Preferences, charts. Now here's online charts. And here, now we're not using Open CMAP. We don't have any use for that in the US. But here is, here's where you turn on the open topo maps. And there's another one here we'll look at in a minute, which is actually faster to load. But anyway, so there's how you get to this area. And remember, you can always do, like if you want to look at some area in this lake, you can zoom into it. This is a, a powerful feature. And while that's loading, I can probably just do Shift-Command-G. Shift-Command-G, does that do anything? Shift, oh, maybe Shift, Command, G. Uh, where is Google Earth? Oh, there it is. Okay, so what that does is that trans, is this in Georgia? Yeah, where am I? Yeah, yeah, so that did it. So is Shift, Command, G, or you're on a Mac. I mean, you're on a PC, it'd be Control, uh, control Option. But it's the one that'll just take that view and load it right into Google Earth. Okay, so that's that. Now let me go back. I'm gonna go back now 
uh, to where we were. Uh, or actually, no, I'm going to do Command F. I want to go to our na neighborhood here, which is a Shilshol. S H I L S H O L E. Shilshol. Shilshol Bay. That's near uh, near where we are here in our office. Now, again, this has to uh, load here. Uh, that's done. Okay, so we're loading. And, uh, and so also, here is a, something else that I wanted to show. And we're going to get to this later on. Um, uh, to this later on. But here is now a bike ride. I just, well, a bike ride to work this morning. And this is the route here. And I just did this on a handheld device. I, in this case, I use QTVLM, the mobile version, in an iPhone. And here is then the trip that you did. Now we're going to come back and do a lot more work with this later on when we when on the next section, next video on the use of GPS. But you see you can then put tracks on here and then here is uh, See, well, that's on it going up a hill, and it's it's computing this from point to point. So there's 3.6 or something. But I want to just show you a little bit of a joke here. See, here is now the trip down here. This is from um, this Leif Erikson statue, which actually, I've lightened this picture up, but this is this morning, and the wind was actually really blowing. But anyway, that's where it started here. And you look here, and the speed is only, uh, what's the speed on the bike here? 6.7 knots, which you say, that's kind of wimpy. But uh, here's what the deal is. It, that was at 1500Z, and it was blowing 32 knots out of the south. So that was into the wind, and so forth. But these are the kind of tricks you can do. And this is going uphill. And you see on the open street map, you even have contours. But we can do, this is, again, looking ahead a little bit ahead, jumping ahead. But uh, we can also do some other tricks with QTVLM. I could say view uh, shape files, open a shape file, and say OK here. That's that one. Now we've laid on here real, real honest to goodness uh, 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 contours uh, from the national, one of the government agencies, the geospatial agencies that has these uh, contours. And this one is here, you see, what is this one? Uh, 160 feet. And I know that's right because our office is right here, and we know that that's 5.8 millibars on a barometer down to the sea state. I mean, down to the sea level. So anyway, this is just to get introduction to get you involved in using, get our, our, our customers and students involved in using these. Let's see what this looks like and looking ahead to here. Here's the vector charts. We're going to be using vector charts, and you see we can really enhance we can really enhance the standard vector charts with these kind of contours. And again, you color, you control the, we can control the color, the thickness of the lines, and so on. So anyway, I'll stop there and hope people practice using the online uh, online maps for your home locations, so you're ready to do the live GPS in the next lesson.